Hello, this is Patriot of the Republic, Mike Fulmer. I would like to uh, discuss symbology, Illuminati symbology. You could see it all through this nation, this country. You, uh, here's a good example. The music industry, you could see it on uh, record covers. Uh, Bill Collins' greatest hits, you'll have... Uh, a lot of Illuminati symbols, the all-seeing eye, uh, a Madonna going like this, uh, Michael Jackson doing this sign, that's an Illuminati sign. Also Paul McCartney does that sign. Um, you could go to Starbucks, The it's a pagan goddess, that's an Illuminati, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a sun goddess, that, that's an Illuminati symbol. Uh, the Freemasons, the, their logo, uh, the, the CBS all-seeing eye, when Jay-Z does this, I'm trying to get, when, it, when you see Jay-Z do this, uh, Beyonce Knowles at the Super Bowl last year, when the Giants, no, it wasn't the Giants, the uh, Baltimore Ravens, and the San Francisco 49ers when you see Beyonce Knowles during the uh, Super Bowl ceremonies when she's singing she's going like this um, that's the other other Illuminati uh, well the Beatles uh, Farley he's he has a lot of uh, influence Illuminati ties pagan ties um, uh, the forefathers, George Washington, he was fearful of the Illuminati to infiltrate the uh, Brotherhood, the uh, Freemason Society. Uh, it, and there's other things about the Illuminati. That, see, the, let me explain what the Illuminati is. They believe in a one world government, a one world religion, and a. Uh, one world banking system where you won't have the freedom of choice and the freedom to worship our well to worship our heavenly father Christianity won't, won't be accepted this was a Christian nation uh, the forefathers knew that uh, knew about God the heavenly the heavenly father they knew a lot about the Christian Bible and you had mom and dad Teaching from the Christian, Bi from the Holy Bible, teaching their kids, their offspring, how to read and spell. And then they uh, taught, the second thing that they taught reading and spelling was the, uh, the constitutions, the original 13 colonies when they ratified in 1776 uh, the first uh, constitu state constitution that was ratified out of the original 13 colonies was here in Pennsylvania, the, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And if you uh, see the works of the uh, of any constitution, including the U.S. Constitution, um, it has, I shall not, they got it from the Ten Commandments, I shall not murder, I shall not commit adultery, I shall not steal, and so on and etc. But uh, there's a lot of Illuminati signs. The all see the CBS resembles the all-seeing eye. Uh, the on the American dollar bill, uh, you got the pyramid with the the broken pyramid with the all-seeing eye. It says enlightened ones. Uh, it, it has a there's a lot of Illuminati influence there with the symbols uh, and then you go with these uh, bloodlines hey, you could date the stuff back to ancient Egypt with the all-seeing eye of the pyramids uh, uh, what was the uh, the Egyptians the all-seeing eye Sarah uh, what, did, what was that Rawl the sun god or well that the all-seeing eye dates back to ancient Egypt uh, with the pyramids, the, sp the Sphinx, 
Uh, like I said, Bloodlines of the Illuminati. Uh, you could read. Uh, there's a very good book that talks about the Illuminati, the uh, 13 Bloodlines of the Illuminati by Fritz Sprudemeyer. Springmeyer. Uh, he uh, actu actually, after he wrote the book, he went to jail for robbing a bank and he wasn't even there he wasn't at the bank and he wasn't even there they just com they just threw him in jail said you're guilty of robbing this bank uh, shortly after he wrote this book well you could buy reprints of the uh, bloodline 13 uh, the bloodlines of the illuminati at infowars.com for uh, fifty, sixty dollars, you could also buy it off of Amazon uh, for that amount of money. And if you want to buy it at a bookstore that would handle it, you'll pay a couple hundred dollars or more for the book. They had to do a lot of recopies, issue reprints of it. But uh, we could also talk about uh, that they want a one-world religion, a one-world government, and a one banking system where there won't be no freedom of choice. I believe I've said that earlier in this video. I hate repeating myself constantly. Sometimes I forget. I'm doing the, these videos on the, on the fly. Uh, but anyway, the Illuminati, they, they're a bunch of Luciferians. They believe in Lucifer. That's their god. And they believe in whatever demons and, and and so on and etc. Uh, Paganology it has a relationship with these uh, Satanists that be believe that they're in the actual enlightened ones. We could talk about uh, bloodlines uh, of the Illuminati. You got the George Bushes, the the Bush family. They're definitely connected through Freemasonry. Uh, George. Herbert Walker Bush is a 33 degree Freemason and his father Prescott Bush 33 degree Freemason also skull, skull and bones and you got Bill Clinton and John Kerry they're also skull and bones Illuminati 33 degree Freemasons so on and etc and then you look at the groups round table groups uh, the Council on Foreign Relations, known as the CFR, they control a good amount of our news media outlets, and they have a main base in Washington, D.C., at our nation's capital, and their main headquarters is right on Wall Street in New York, New York, in Manhattan. You got uh, John D. Rockefeller, well, David Rockefeller, the son of... John D. Rockefeller. He said how he wants to con destroy the United States and wants to be basically our rulers. He brags about that in his memoirs. And his father, let's talk about, well, they have connections with the Illuminati, they're one of the bloodlines, so on and etc. His father uh, had a quote Competition is a sin. Someday I want to be your ruler and I want to be your ki king. Well, and they're also pushing for Agenda 21, the uh, John D. Rockefeller family. He said, competition is a sin and I want to be your ruler and someday be your king. Here's a good example. Uh, Agenda 21, the UN, the, the League of Nations. Uh, they're pushing Agenda 21 where you won't have the right to, it will restrict you from travel and uh, the right to uh, own private property it violates the fourth amendment it violates all the amendments in our constitution and state constitution here in the commonwealth of pennsylvania but i'll get into this agenda twenty one it's uh... john d rockefeller and david rockefeller they firmly support Agenda 21 and Kodax Anatarius, the, the controlling all of our food. They want to see a mass. They, and that also has a strong connection with the Georgia Guidestones. 
they talk about eliminating 10 percent uh, no 90 percent of the world's population through Kodak Sanitarius and Agenda 21 but uh, here's a good example how competition is a sin here in Allegheny County in the uh, 40s and 50s there was a bunch of mom-and-pop uh, mass transit systems well no more uh, in the ni 19 March of 1964 they did the finalizing of merging and calling it the Port Authority of Allegheny County so that shows a strong standing for Agenda 21 the right to travel, the God-given right to travel uh, they're controlling mass transit uh, and I feel strongly that's under Agenda 21 uh, then you got the hole to nowhere it, it goes under the river right to the uh, to the stadiums and the uh, Carnegie Science Center and the uh, the, the gambling casinos, uh, uh, that's also FEMA. It's one of the FEMA camps. That's that's going to be a big fam a FEMA camp. Re I mean, center with uh, PNC Park and and Heinz Field. But uh, anyway, you got uh, something that also falls under. Uh, Agenda 21, it's a eugenics program. Uh, Obamacare has a lot of Agenda 21 eugenic things in the uh, uh, the health the care, the Affordable Health Care Act known as Obamacare. There's abortion, uh, it supports abortion, and it also uh, supports uh, death panels for old people. Uh, that's what Hitler believed in. He was also a eugenics and Margaret Sanger, a, a straight up uh, eugenics, part of the American Eugenic Society here in the United States. She uh, communicated with Hitler through telegrams how to demoralize a Christian nation by bringing abortion and the abortion clinics here to the United States. Margaret Sanger is the founder of the abortion clinics and this Obamacare basically controls uh, abortion, the killing of a baby, and death panels for old people. Uh, you got the air, the chemtrails. It, it's putting poison in the air. Uh, and then whenever it rains, it puts it in the water and in the dirt. It's, it's, it's destroying the soil. It's killing the wildlife, the fish. It's, a, it's affecting me, it's affecting my dad, my girlfriend, my friend Tom Ames, and everybody else that I can name. But uh, this falls under Agenda 21, and it all ties up, it all has ties with the Illuminati. Uh, well, this is Mike Fulmer saying so long and goodbye for now, and adios. Oh, you could Google everything that I'm saying Google all-seeing eye CBS uh, the, the Michael Jackson symbol and Paul McCartney also does it on one of the albums uh, what's that gentleman's name the old man that's a Luciferian can you come here please uh, Alistair Cawley this is my uh, girlfriend Sarah just say hi well this is Patriot of the Republic saying so long and goodbye for now and adios everyone take care and God bless bye I'm out for now